guys, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. I'm excited to be back with you guys for our second video of the day. Y'all, we got to talk about y'all's favorite talk show host, Miss Megan McCain. She is going on record defending the Rousewives of Atlanta, okay, specifically the ones that got real freaky deaky at the Bola Bachelorette party. All right, and then I want to talk Escape versus SWV and the ratings and Latoya getting sick and more reunion tea. It's a lot to go over. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get straight into the video. All right, y'all. So y'all know I did a live stream earlier um, in the morning and y'all really loved it. And so thank you guys for joining me that early. I believe it was like 700 of you guys in there at one time and the video has already like 10,000 views and it's only been up for a couple of hours. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. But this video is basically just gonna be an extension of that because we have even more tea. But before we get into the tea, y'all, I do want to talk about The View, okay? Y'all know The View is one of my favorite talk shows. And uh, Miss Megan McCain, the person that we all love to not like, okay, is speaking out on the Housewives, the Bolo situation, Portia and Tanya possibly having a threesome, et cetera, et cetera. And to me, it actually kind of sounds like Megan McCain is defending our favorite Miss Portia, Portia, Portia. Check this clip out. Every season has been so good over the past few months, but Atlanta in particular has been getting me through the pandemic. It was some of the most compelling reality television I've seen in my entire life, and I've seen a lot. I, I love women who own their sexuality with no shame or stigma, a stigma attached to it. I thought it was really liberating, too, because they were having a bachelorette party the way men have bachelor parties, and I totally agree with you that there's this feminist angle to the housewives that is always missed, and I really enjoyed the whole thing. So as you guys can see, yes, Megan McCain and Andy Cohen finally are, you know, stepping off that high horse that they usually be on, okay? That conservatism BS. Um, and it's spilling some real tea, all right? Uh, Andy said, I love women who own their sexuality with no shame or stigma, okay? That sounded like it was kind of like a dig to Miss Kenya Moore hair care because we know Kenya Moore has been shaming the other ladies. And then Megan McCain simply said it was really liberating. There's a feminist angle to the housewives that doesn't always get shown. And I would totally have to agree. We have to start normalizing women being comfortable in their sexuality, whether it's on TV or not. And guess what? If you don't like it, if you feel like it's not classy, if you feel like this is not the type of television show that you want to indulge in, then guess what? You can always take that remote, okay, that came with the TV when you bought it and change the channel, okay? If you don't like it, change it. It is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. I never thought I would say this, but Megan McCain was really speaking to me, okay? She was really speaking to me and I'm here for it. So let me know what you guys think about that situation down in the comments below. Now, with that being said, okay, speaking of Housewives of Atlanta, can we get into the ROA ratings? All right, so you guys know that the season high was the Bolo episode in Charleston of the South Carolina. I believe the ratings were like 1.8 million viewers. Then they went down and plummeted. Last week, I believe they had just barely a million viewers. And they went up approximately uh, 200,000 more viewers. And so this past Sunday's episode was 1.183, okay? And so almost 200,000, you know, viewer gain, which I was here for. And that's probably because Fallon was going to get to that ass. And so maybe the viewers wanted to tune in to see what that drama was about. But the ratings did have a slight uptick. And so congratulations to everyone at Bravo, NBC Universal, Andy Cohen, and the rest of the executives. Now, speaking of everybody's favorite thirsty YouTuber, we got to get into some things when it comes to Latoya Ali. Okay, once again, she's the gift that keeps on giving because I feel like every damn day we're talking about this girl, but it's because it's always something. Okay, it's always something. And so I want everyone who is watching this video to go to Latoya Ali's social media and give her some well wishes because she is apparently sick, right? She went onto Instagram and said that she got tested for COVID, but she was negative and she believes that she might have the flu. And so Latoya Ali is not really feeling all that well. Also in an Instagram caption, Latoya said, I'm sick. A fan commented under that post and said, will you be able to go to the reunion? 
And we know that the reunion is coming up really soon, okay? In T-minus less than 24 hours. And so, you know, I find it to be very... How can I say this without being insensitive? Uh, Funny, okay, or ironic that, uh, you know, LaToya Ali, who has stirred up a lot of drama this season, is sick right before the reunion, okay? And so is she going to make the reunion? I have no idea, right? You're not supposed to fly, okay, in airplanes, any type of aircraft or anything like that while you're sick, according to CDC guidelines. And so um, I don't think she's going to make it, y'all, okay? She might have to zoom in from her bed because I just don't think y'all's favorite YouTuber is going to make the reunion. Um, she responded to that fan and said, that's the plan to make it to the reunion, but my health is number one. And so whatever LaToya has, I hope she can make a speedy recovery because we need her at this reunion. Like, girl, you got a lot of explaining to do. So speaking of the ladies of Roa, you guys know Miss Candy Burris Tucker is a proud member of the girl group Escape. And we just received some really great news. Apparently Escape, okay, is doing a versus battle against SWV. Sisters with Voices versus Escape. Okay, I am all the way here for this. And Latasha Scott caught up with TMZ to give us all the tea. Check this clip out. Versus battle with Escape and SWV is going down May 8th. So I'm out here just, you know, representing for my home team, what? Atlanta. I don't want to interrupt you, but what, you just dropped quite a bomb on me right yeah, there. Wait, yeah. I was going to ask you what's it going to take to make an Escape versus happen. And you're telling me one's oh, already it's, it's happening, happening now. It's happening now. Escape May versus 8th. SWV. Yes. May 8th. May 8th. So y'all heard Latasha, okay? Who y'all got down in the comments below? Are you team Escape, okay? Team Latasha, Tiny, Candy, and them? Or are you team Sisters with the Voices, okay? Coco and them. Personally, for me, both of these musical groups were kind of before my time. And so I am not familiar with their catalog as a whole. But I do, you know, bop to a couple of Escape songs. And I do know of some SWV songs, not that many maybe three or four or so. However, I'm still excited and I will definitely be tuned in. And I'm kind of going to have to be Team Escape only because, I mean, I'm born and raised and live in Atlanta. So real Atlanta need to stand up, period. So I'm going to wrap it up right here. Let me know what you guys think about everything we talked about today. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you guys a little bit later. Love you and don't forget to create a great day. Bye, you guys.